Thank you for choosing the Q-Labs meter. It was made for both healthcare professional and self-test use. In the front, we have a touch screen and the test strip guide where the test strip will be inserted during testing. On the back of the meter, we have the battery cover, the foot pad and the magnetic charging port. At the top, you will find the power supply jack and the data port. For the plus model, on the bottom, you will find the scan module. On the left, you will find the power button and on the right, code chip slot where the code chip will be inserted to install before test. Before using the QLabs monitoring system to do a test, you will need QLabs PT-INR test strips, power supply, a puncture-proof container for disposing of sharps or biohazardous materials, alcohol wipes, gauze and band-aid, and a Lancet device. The QLabs PT-INR monitoring system is intended for in vitro diagnostics use only. Before using the system to test PT and INR, consult the user's manual. When the QLabs meter is initially powered on, the battery must be fully charged. Press the power button for three seconds. The meter will beep and enter the main menu screen. If operator ID is set to on, the meter automatically enters operator ID menu after it is turned on. Press and hold the power button for one second to turn it off. Touch the setting button. You can change the QLabs meter language, Bluetooth, test parameter, system parameter, about the device and operator ID. QLabs meter support to 16 languages. Bluetooth can be used to connect the meter to eStation 2 and a specific mobile app to upload or print, result, and upgrade. In the test parameter, you can set the sample number, review the code chip list, and change the reference range which feature is used to alert the user when the INR results are out of range, and set the INR precision PT units and APTT units. In the system parameter, you can change the date time, set the beeper, screen rotation, brightness, auto sleep, auto print or upload, and transport mode. Do not forget to use the test strip code chip that is supplied with each pack of test strips before you perform the first test with these strips. The code chip provides the meter with important information that it needs to perform the coagulation test. The chip contains information about the test strip code, the lot number, and the expiration date. The code chip is required whenever a new test strip lot is used so that the meter can read and store the lot information about that particular lot of test strips. We recommend that you leave the code chip in the meter to protect the electrical contacts in the meter from becoming dirty. When performing a test, the QLabs meter should be operated on a level surface that is free of vibration. Testing on an uneven or unstable surface may cause inaccurate results. Touch the test icon to enter the strip insertion screen, then insert the test strip. After the test strip is inserted, meter will show the test strip information screen. Input the strip code chip number by key in. Or scan the barcode on the package. Then click tick to save. If code chip is not installed, meter will promote insert strip code chip. Insert the test strip code chip into the chip slot. Please make sure the side with the arrow is facing up. The code chip is automatically installed into the meter. When the input code chip number does not match the code chip information, 
the system will deliver a warning message indicating that the code chip information does not match. When the input code chip number of the test strip has expired, the system will deliver a warning message indicating that the code chip has expired. After the test strip is inserted and its code chip is installed, the instrument will enter the heating state and the screen will display the heating progress. Wait to puncture until the heat up over and count down. 120 seconds. Begin. Remember to always wash your hands with warm water and dry them thoroughly before you test your INR value. Take out one lancet and remove its protection cap from top. Massage the finger with a downward motion several times before performing the finger stick. Identify a site on the finger to puncture. On one of the middle fingers of either hand, near the top of the finger on either side, away from any calluses or scars. Wait to puncture until the heat up over and count down. 120 seconds. Begin. Clean the selected area with an alcohol pad. Dry thoroughly with cotton or gauze. Puncture the finger with lancet. Apply gentle, continuous pressure until a large, hanging drop of blood forms. Apply the blood directly on the sample well of the strip. The system will count down and prompt the user to add sample upon the completion of heating, and the sample must be added within 120 seconds. Do not move the instrument or your fingers during sample adding. Or use a disposable pipette for sample as well. The blood sample must be applied to the test strip within 15 seconds after collection. Q Labs can use fresh capillary finger stick or fresh non-anticoagulated venous blood. After the sample is added properly, the system will start the test automatically and display the test progress. The system will display the test results after the test is completed. When the result is out of the normal range, the system will prompt that the result is high or low. Touch comment icon to add a comment to the test result. Remove the test strip in the direction shown in the screen. Then the screen will directly jump to the main screen. Dispose the used test strips and lancet carefully based on facility procedures. Remember to store everything in the carrying case for the next time. Touch the result icon from the main menu screen to enter the result query screen. If there are multiple test results, please scroll through the display for all results. To view the detailed test result information, please click a result from the test result query screen.